Hi, my name is Jessica Estrada. I'm from CETIS University and I'm going to present you the work emulation results of fluid velocity for proteins and structure based on graphene oxide, GO, and silicon for great water treatment application considering the sodium chloride as principal solute. This work is made with the collaboration of Dr. Lopez and Efraín Mejía. This is the agenda that I'm presenting to you. First, I'm going to talk to, about the introduction, then the theoretical background, next the methodology, next the results, and finally the conclusions. Introduction. This work is based on the water problematic. As we know, there's an interest on the research of water treatment, either for residual water or great water. The intention of this work is for great water application that is always water generated in houses or office buildings, from streams except for the wastewater from toilets, that to say without fecal contamination. So the sources of great water include the baths, the showers, the sinks, washing machines, or uh, dishwashers. On water treatment, there's a focus on the transporting of matter through a, a porous system and not just in water treatment. Also in other areas such as civil engineer, chemistry, physical materials, and others. In particle, a membrane as a porous medium is a physical barrier that allows the transport of spe specific species or particles through it. As we can see, some of the uh, particles will be retained on the membrane or adsorbed, and others will be passed through it or permeate. In this case, we use the sodium chloride as a solute. The primarity of the different types of membrane has been studied using the uh, studying the chloride, sodium chloride. And the performance of the porous medium basically depends on the structural condition and it affects by the movement of fluids, solute types, and particles. However, sometimes a single absorbent material is not enough since it could present a well performance for a single type of pollen but not for all pollens present in the wastewater. So to have a good pollen removal effect, the combination of two or more absorbent materials will be a good pollen removal. Thus, different materials have been searched for application for porous medium, for example, silicon. The silicon has drawn attention respect to the application of macroporous and mesoporous membranes. On the other hand, Graphene has been widely analyzed and used. It has been used as a high efficiency absorbent to remove pollens, to its ability to exchange ions with other materials. And graphene has been used for manufacturing porous membranes, multilayer and mixed matrix membrane. This to improve the efficiency of various conventional processes related to ultrafiltration, nanofiltration, joint exchange, among other. Otherwise, graphene oxide, GO, has other advantages. Size in these hexagonal groups, it has functional groups such as hydroxyl group, carbonylic group, and GO has an hydrophilic and hydrophobic region confined in a 2D shape. GEO has present high effectiveness for the elimination of fluids of wastewater and heavy metal absorption, such as Cooper 2+, Cadmium 2+, Nickel 2+, and Lead 2+. Theoretical background. Here I present a conventional pipe of 5 cm long by 2.54 cm wide which consists on, of four sections, A, B, C, and D. The inflow in the pipe is in, shown in section A, while section B and C are the porous medium and ha, has a length of 0 0.5 cm. In particle, section B is constructed using silicon and section C using geo, both with the same thickness. Finally, section D represents the behavior of the outflow after passing through the porous medium. 
We consider a laminar flow, so for the movement of the fluid, the velocity inside the pipe, we use the neighbor Stokes equation. This one. Where B is the velocity and P is the, the fluid pressure. Where gradient indicates the gradient differential operator. The first term, which is this one, represents the initial forces. The second term represents or describes the pressure forces. And the third term, which is this one, represents the viscosity forces. And the last term represents the external forces applied to the fluid. This equation, we in with this equation we also need the equation for the conversion of mass, which is this one. For the porous medium, we use the Brickman equation because the porous structure consists of several walls and we have to include the effects of viscosity that are related to the flow in free medium. The Brickman equation is an extension of the Darcy equation and we use it to try to homogenize the porous structure, which is achieved by determining the porosity, the tortuosity, and permeability, which allows determining the particle location where the fluid interacts with the porous structure. In here, where N is the dynamic viscosity, rho is the density, and K is the permeability of the photo structure. And to determine the initial velocity on the pipe, we use the continuity equation, which depends, which is this one, with, which depends on the roughness and wet perimeter of the pipe, all the surface that is in contact with the water. Because it is considered a cylindrical pipe, the wet perimeter is practically the entire surface. Methodology. Here, I present the uh, initial condition of the flow through the pipe. In the first table, we have the fluid properties, which are, is the density, shown here, the temperature, Next to the density, the viscosity, the concentration molar, the initial velocity that was determined by the continuous equation, and we have the initial pressure. On the other hand, the table of the bottom has the properties of the porous medium. In here, we have the materials that is silicon and graphene oxide, GO, and we have a particle of the dynamic viscosity, the porosity, and the permeability. Results. Here I present the results of the emulation. In figure 3, we present the flow with the initial condition at the time of zero. In this case, the velocity is of 0 0.38 meters per second. The fluid velocity is constant and laminar at all test points in almost all the types. Pipe. We present the variation of the flow velocity using lines that describe the trajectory and velocity of the fluid. Scientific representation shows the net effect of the movement of the fluid inside the pipe. We could appreciate more these lines or net in figure 4, where it indicates the velocity at one second. In particle, when the flow rate is reduced, the length of the arrows tends to be shorter at the extremes of the pipe, close to the walls, and when the arrows are organized in a parallel structure, the flow is said to be of the laminar type, such as the figure 3. On the other hand, if, if there was a rapid change in the speed and direction of the fluid, eddies will be generated in the fluid, which means that the fluid presents some kind of turbulence. On figure 4 shows the velocity of the fluid within the pipeline at one second, where the minimum and maximum velocity values are approximately uh, zero, 0 meters per second at the walls and 0 0.53 meters per second respectively at the medium of the pipe. The fluid increases in the middle part 
such as the result of 0 0.53 meters per second. That is the part of the porous material in the vertical direction. However, the speed reduces to 0 meters, 0 meters per second at the ends of the porous material in the same direction. In addition, the as the velocity of the fluid increases, the velocity profile is also modified, not only in the porous medium, but also in the rest of the conventional pipe. To appreciate the velocity profile, here we present on figure 5 the behavior of the fluid velocity throughout the entire pipeline, where shows the values of the fluid velocity at one second along the entire pipeline concerning different distance on the vertical axis. In figure 2, we show the line, the different lines, the red one, blue and black line. The traces red and black represent the emulation results of the fluid velocity at 0.27 cm and 2.13 cm, that is, at the vertical ends of the pipe along the entire pipe, while the blue line represents the results emulated in the middle of the pipe concerning the vertical axis at 1.27 cm. The velocity of the fluid in the three localities in the pipe mentioned is very similar to 0 0.38 meters per second from the beginning of the pipe. In fact, from the distance, the velocity of the fluid in the middle of the pipe increases to 0 0.58 meters per second at the point B, this blue line reaches a velocity of 0 0.56 meters per second, while at the ends of the pipe, blue and black lines, the velocity of the fluid decreases to 0 0.15 meters per second. At the black line, we appreciate this value. For the, the red line in point C, the velocity is about 0 0.20 meters per second. These simulations results are mainly for the membranes construction using silicon and geo. Once the fluid crosses the nanomembranes, the fluid velocity and the velocity profile is also modified, reaching a velocity of 0 0.53 meters per second for the middle part of the pipe and 0 0.25 meters per second for the ends of the pipe. For the conclusions in this work, the mechanical analysis of a solid mass such as those in GEO and chemical compounds of water and fluid, the preliminary results related to the fluid velocity are adequate for the multiple applications. Here, for the three objects in chemical materials, Hypothesis that both can filter the sodium chloride. As future work uh, for the synthesis of the membranes, a physical chemical analyze, analysis will be required in order to determine the bed absorption isotherms using the Arrhenius equation to verify the dependence of the cinetic velocity of the reaction chemistry. Here are the reference that we use on this work. Thank you for your time.